Hi guys, welcome to today's episode of the vlog series. Today we're going to talk to you about the benefits of PLAB versus postgraduate qualifications when obtaining your GMC registration. All right, so first up we've got the PLAB route. Now, PLAB is a brief, brief overview. We have got blogs and vlogs that explain it in more detail. Uh, you're expected to pass your OET or IELTS initially, followed by PLAB 1, which is a written examination, followed by PLAB 2, which is clinical scenarios around a set of stations. Um, the PLAB examinations are geared towards more junior level doctors, and the kind of things you're tested on are based around the equivalent to an FY1, FY2 level doctor in the NHS. So the GMC are looking to test that you've got the clinical competencies of a junior level doctor in the NHS. Um, pros and cons, well, arguably PLAB could be a quicker route for you if you're equipped to answer those questions and deal with those fairly uh, junior level scenarios. Um, that said, if you're a more senior doctor looking at it as a quicker route to GMC registration, you may find that it limits your job prospects to only junior level positions. Um, when looking at CVs, most employers are going to see uh, this person's got the PLAB exam, therefore they're coming in at that more junior level. Um, we'll go on to explain about the Royal College qualifications a bit later on. So generally a little bit quicker to pass, but more geared towards junior level doctors. Okay, so postgraduate routes. Um, there's a whole host of postgraduate examinations that you can choose to sit uh, to obtain your GMC registration. They're normally speciality specific, a good number of them are Royal College based, so they're the same examinations that a UK based doctor would sit around their uh, ST2 level coming up to ST3 plus senior registrar level. Um, so uh, again, they, they do vary in how they're set up. Sometimes it's a written part or two written parts followed by a clinical scenario um, assessment. We've got some blogs and vlogs on the various routes that you can choose to take in the various Royal Colleges, so have a look at those for something that's more speciality specific. Um, in terms of the advantage of going down the Royal College or postgraduate qualification route, it's really around the fact that it, it, it will allow you access to the more senior level, traditionally registrar, senior registrar, potentially even consultant level positions uh, in the NHS. Um, UK based doctors traditionally sit their Royal College exams around that ST2, ST3 level as they're coming up to senior level specialty specific training so it's a prerequisite at that point for a UK doctor if you're an international doctor viably you can expect that you'll join around that route as well um, I guess the the downside is it, it will take you a bit longer it does take a bit more practice and a bit more study um, than perhaps the PLAB route which may seem more simple if you're a more senior doctor but it will of course open you up to a more specialty specific type role at a more senior level It is really important to note that both routes are entirely open to doctors at any level in their career. So a more senior doctor could sit PLAB, a more junior doctor could sit one of the Royal College routes. Um, and it by no means will constrain you in the jobs that you can apply to. Um, it just means that you may be competitive within those relative pools. Um, so certainly don't be dismissive of either route. Have a good look. Um, if you're unsure about your own personal circumstances, then get in touch with us and we'll be most helpful uh, in guiding you as to which we think would be best and which would give you the best uh, job prospects according to your seniority uh, and your specialism. Thank you so much for listening. As always, uh, we'll put the contact details up at the end of the video and if you have any questions, please do feel free to get in touch.